What is going on? Yeah, it's your boy Take Over Here. And in this video, I'm just going to be talking about, you know, my story from the day I started playing Mad until now, you know. And um, I came about this because I was watching Ghost Video. Um, I'm not subscribed to no one on YouTube. Um, I don't know why. I'm just not subscribed to no one. So when I do get on and I search like a Madden video, I type in the search bar. And I came across this video. And his newest video is like, why do you play Madden? And I actually thought about it, like, yeah, why do I play Madden? Like, I remember when I first came into the Madden scene, like, in Madden 08, I was ridiculously horrible, trash, dirt, shit, whatever you want to call it. And I remember just playing with the Patriots. I probably played, like, 40 games that year. I remember playing with the Patriots and just literally just lobbing streaks to Randy Moss like everyone else did. Didn't know how to play. Didn't know how to play defense, nothing. And whenever I was losing, I would just quit. And then in Madden 09, um, you know, I came onto the scene a little bit. Cause I was playing um do Dragon franchise on YouTube and like I will forever thank him no lie because he is the reason why I am good and mad in the way I am today. Um back then of course he didn't know how to nano and stuff like that, but it was just the fact that I played him and he was better than me. And then like toward the end of the year, it's the crazy thing about it, I got better than him. But definitely playing him made me a better player. If that makes any sense, you know we would play literally every day. If you go back to YouTube. And type in Dragon Franchise. We probably played about 40 games that year on YouTube. We probably played 100 games, but he put like about 40 or 50 of them on YouTube. And you can tell how better I got throughout the year. I remember playing on my D tackle to playing on my fucking um to my linebacker to playing on my safety to blitzing. And I just became, you know, I started to just learn the game, you know. So he definitely brung me into the whole Madden scene. Then in Madden 10, you know, I played a bunch of ranked games. I probably played about 2,000 ranked games. Like, I don't know how many. It was, I played a lot of ranked games. And I remember just being in class, like, thinking, like, damn, I can't wait to go home and play Madden. Like, what am I going to run on defense? What am I going to run on offense? I know you guys have thought about that whether you guys were at work or class. And you're just thinking about Madden. Like, what you going to run on offense? Or you can't wait to try this new play out. And it just became crazy. And then Madden 10, you know, I was... I, I got good. I started to learn defense. I started to come up with my own blitz and stuff. And I was watching people on YouTube. And um, I used to watch. I used to watch Ghost back then. I don't know if that was his channel name, but he used to have a channel. And I used to watch him. And I used to um like the way he played because he played like me. Like you know the way he blitzed and the way he adjusted and lurked. He just reminded me of myself. So I would definitely used to watch him. Um, Addy Cards when he used to play NCAA. His his videos was entertaining back then. Um. I used to lab with him and I actually showed him a couple things back then in NCAA and that's how that's how crazy good I became where well, I just learned defense and stuff and um I used to watch him um TD cards I don't think I watched Goonie I don't think I watched his video but I think I remember him from back in the days and definitely watching those videos you know watching videos definitely helped and it was just crazy how when Madden 11 came around, um, I surrounded myself with good people. Back then, it was me, my man Jay Wood, and we still talk to this day. Like, real cool to this day. And it's crazy. It was me, Jay Wood, Truth, um, one of my boys named Assassin, and um, I forgot who the other person was, but like, toward like the middle of Madden season, we had met Windsor. And we just became so good together, you know, we just fed off each other, you know, having someone good around you in Madden definitely helps, someone you could just play play defense on, adjust with, just find up, find new things and come up with, um, you know, great off and great defense with. And we found wins because he had won the Axe Madden tournament. Um, that year, I had won the whole thing, like they had the playoff thing, I won the whole thing and I didn't get no prize. Actually, we met Wednesday. We met, we met Wednesday in Madden 12, but in Madden 11, I had won the whole Madden 11 gauntlet, and you were supposed to get like a big prize, but unfortunately, I didn't get nothing. Cause you know what happened with his sight and everything. But I, you know, I didn't care because I was coming onto the Madden scene. And I felt like I was making a name for myself. Like back then, that's all I wanted to do was make a name for myself and just beat people, let people know that I was good. And back then, I used to just talk a lot of shit, get on every site, say you suck, you a bum, play me, and I was beating everybody by at least. 12 or two touchdowns yo i was beating everybody like blowing everybody out that's how good i was and it was crazy and then madden 12 that's when we met Wednesday. um he had won one of the madden gauntlets on x madden and um i recruited him immediately no one knew about him i picked him up to the crew 
and he was just crazy good on offense. His offense was just wide receiver cross, I think, but he had the best wide receiver cross, literally. He would just quick snap, quick snap, quick snap, and it was ridiculous. And on defense, he had a great defensive mind, and I had a great defensive mind because I don't know how I just come up with defense now. I could look at a play and tell if it's going to be good, look at a blitz angle and tell if the blitz is going to work, and that's how I got an act for defense now. It's just crazy. And... We became crazy good, you know? We fed off each other on defense and offense, and we just became crazy good. And in Madden 13, you know, I came up with the A-gap, and it was just a wrap. And my man Truth, he was so good on offense in Madden 13. Like, I'm not going to lie, he was never the labbing type, <laughs> but he definitely was so good on offense. Like, you could show him defense, and he would make it 10 times better. But on offense, it was the worst. Like, he ran bunch tight end in Madden 13, and he had the best quick snap. He ran three plays the whole game and would literally blow you out by 21. I kid you not. And we just all fed off each other. And then Madden 13, that's when I kind of met Zeddy, you know. I became real cool with Zeddy. Zeddy was, like, one of the most chill dudes I met online. And we were just kicking it with Zeddy, too. So Zeddy definitely became part of our clique. And, you know, Zeddy reads is bad on offense. But he definitely could give you that little um, variety on defense, you know, give you different looks on defense. So um, we kind of opened them with full on. If that makes sense, you know, you meet somebody, you don't want to let them in your crew or run your real defense on them because you know they might steal it and shit. That's how we used to think back then. But um, he definitely was real cool and, you know, he was good on defense. So we all just became kind of good off of each other and just fed off of each other. And that's why I'm getting to this point where if you guys are looking to get good and mad and now, ebooks will definitely help you out, but it's only so much you can learn from there. From there, excuse me. If you have someone you can practice with and lab with, that definitely helps. Like just two people, three people tops, you know, you don't need to have 15 people to get good. And you can just practice your offense with them, practice your defense with them, get different looks on offense, different looks on defense, run different schemes, practice blitzes yourself. So you don't have to buy ebooks and get blitzes, you know? And it's just crazy because um this year i never thought i would be like wanting to quit madden this early you know i actually took a month off madden didn't i didn't even touch my game or nothing because like madden this year when it came out i loved it for the first like you know month i made the first finals of the turn i mean the first tournament i made the finals you know i was definitely loving it but then this game kind of got repetitive you've seen everybody running the same thing i know it's a video game at the end of the day but um it was just no creativity and I kind of just like, you know, I don't even want to play the game anymore. So I literally did not touch Madden for a month. Like, and it's crazy. Like, when you come back to the game, the new love you have for it, and just like, it's good again. But taking a break from a game definitely helps. If you guys are not liking the game or frustrated, just take a break. You know, just put it down. It's not the end of the world. It's not, it's not the end of life, you know. Just put the game down and get back on the game whenever you feel like you want to. And I promise you, you will like the game again. And, um... That was just the whole point of the story, so definitely shout out to all the people that helped me come up, um, you know, when I was playing Madden. Whether you know you didn't help me come up, whether you know or whether you don't know, you um, contributed to me, you know, become good in Madden. Um, so definitely shout out to all you guys. Like I said, I surrounded myself with a great bunch of group of people. It was me, Z um, me, Zeddy, Truth, Assassin, um, Winsda back then, and... Just surrounding yourself by a bunch of good Madden players can definitely transform your game tremendously. Like, I remember just making, like, the wackest person in Madden to, like, one of the greatest players back in, like, Madden um 11 it was. And I just loved helping people, you know. So, like, they would be whack. And I, I was, like, crazy. Like, I'll see potential in them. And I'll literally make them good at the game. Like, lab with them every day. Play them. Set, set, set games up for them. And it definitely transformed them. And I used to love seeing that. And, like, I used to love the game, you know. I played a bunch of ranked games, bunch of money games. Like, I was just addicted to this game, yo. And, like, it was just crazy back then. So, hopefully, you guys like that little story. Um, Subscribe to my homie if you guys haven't. I will leave the link in the description. He's definitely up coming up on YouTube. That's my friend in real life. Went to high school with him. And thanks for watching, man. Videos will be coming back. And until then, it's your boy Takeaway out. Peace.